Okay, my friends, welcome to the final review of the uh, monogram Lincoln Continental. And uh, I must say, the the kit fulfills all my expectations about uh, monogram kits, uh, especially after uh, confirming the age of the kit. The kit was made in the 60s, 67 to be precise, and uh, that makes it even better than uh, the standard I have about uh, monogram. So, as you can see, the car looks pretty good in, in, in the end, and uh, it's an elegant car, to be honest. I don't like these uh, old American cars, because they were big and heavy and so on, so on, but I, I kind of find this one really an elegant car. So, the kit itself. Uh, I didn't have, well, as far as I can remember, any big problem in fitting parts or uh, knowing who, where they were meant to be or anything like that. Maybe with the exception of the, the front bumper because uh, it has two slots in the chrome part that fits in uh, two pins here on the uh, the black part. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, not much light in here. The, the part is black so you can see very well. So this uh, this black part has uh, a pin, this side and this side, and uh, they weren't exactly in the way they were supposed to be, so I had to twist the bumper a little bit, so it would fit. But uh, that's the only thing I can remember with uh, the overall assembly of the kit. and. Uh, as you can see, for a 52-year-old kit, it uh, it looks really nice. I mean, it's a fine, fine model with very good proportions, and uh, as I've said, it's a, an elegant car, so I quite like it. Now, well, let's go for the engine. The engine has pretty good detail not the best detail in the world but uh, it's pretty decent I only added some wiring let me see if I can show you that too some uh, wiring to make it a little bit more well complete but uh, as far as it goes out of the box, it, it's a pretty detailed engine and looks pretty good in the end too. So, uh, as I said, for the age of the kit, it looks very, very good. Now, the interior. The interior is something, uh, well, uh, not peculiar, but uh, something that I like in this monogram kit because you don't see a piece of decal anywhere all is molded all is paintable uh, and all looks very very good in the end so also nothing to say here about the, the assembly itself all fitted well no problems whatsoever and uh, my only thing but uh, that's not about the kit, that's more something that I decided because I don't know exactly how it works in real life. And uh, it has to do with the spare tire. Now, you see this seam line here. And uh, I decided not to hide it because I would suppose this would be a, a tire case or something like that and it would open for you to get access to the spare tire 
so it means that uh, one half would open so if you when you get the the uh, the case closed that there is a gap so i don't know if it is halfway or if it was in one of the ends so i decided to to keep it that way and uh, don't know if it is realistic or not i tried my best with it so this is how it ended uh let me see more i don't know about the the color choice i really like the this type of cars painted in uh, some kind of beige color beige cream whatever you want to call it because uh, i think the this car would typically be uh, would be black and uh, i really didn't like the the final look of it in black uh, uh, if you saw the other videos you know that uh, during the unboxing the plastic was black and uh, I tested uh, the, the complete if you want to say complete uh, assembled uh, in black and I, I didn't really like it so I decided to keep it as a beige one with a, a light interior and uh, as you can see and uh, I'll repeat again this car is pretty elegant and I like it and uh, I like even more the, the kit itself looks very good uh, refined if I can say so pretty refined uh, and that's it, Monogram didn't disappoint, uh, despite not, not uh, existing anymore, but uh, it really is, it, it, it's really a nice kit, especially for its age. So there you go, uh, this is it, the, the link called Continental from Monogram, and uh, next project I have a big thing coming up. Uh, not big in terms of size, but uh, in terms of uh, what it is. So stay tuned guys and uh, stay safe.